Well, hello, everybody. Thank you uh, from us here at Vadio for taking time um, out of your busy days to attend this seminar session uh, at EdCom. And thank you to our friends at EdCom for inviting us to, um, to share our, uh, our information and our product line with you. Um, just a little bit of background about Vadio. Um, I'm Jesse Wytonic. I am the Special Markets Channel Manager here at Vadio. I actually am your direct contact uh, for Canada, and I also take care of the mid-Atlantic U.S. and U.S. government territories. So um, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. But um, with that, though, comes a lot of different applications. Um, I've seen just about every different thing from uh, uh, different distance ed applications, house of worship, government, uh, you name it. Um, Vadio itself uh, has been around since 2002. Um, a little bit of background, our CEO, Rob Shealy, he owned an integration company prior to that for about 13 years. Um, so a lot of the technology that you see here at Vadio is because he knows what it's like to be on the side that EdCom is on. So it's not that we're just a manufacturer, but we also know what it's like and what you guys as the end users are looking for, and also in return, what EdCom as the integrator needs out of a manufacturer. So that's why a lot of our product line is very innovative and um, easy to use. Um, I can tell you that our, for example, our production view series, our switcher line, um, that actually, when we did the R&D on it, we did it based on the fact of like house of worship. Typically, it is um, volunteers that are uh, doing the Sunday services and recording and stuff, so they don't have a, a large knowledge of video background. Um, so for that, we made. Uh, we designed the production view series with a really easy to use uh, kind of learning curve. So, um, and as Donna said, as I go along, if you have questions, just jot them down. And at the end, I'll be able to answer any questions that you have. As you can see right now, um, I have a lanyard around uh, my neck here. Uh, this is gonna kind of be the basis of our seminar today from Vadio. It's going to center around the auto track system. Now, what auto track is basically is a IR based tracking system. Throughout this lanyard, all the way around to the back, are little IR sensors inside here. And the uh, auto track system is a two camera system. The top camera is, has an IR filter on it, and it's always looking for where these little sensors are inside of the lanyard. The bottom camera is actually my video output or my tracking camera. Now, as I walk through the room, I can turn, I can turn around backwards and move, and it's going to constantly follow me without any operator. So this is great, obviously, in institutions, educational institutions, house of worship, uh, government applications where you don't necessarily always have a camera operator. Um, you don't have funding to be able to have a camera operator. And also, most of the time, people don't want to be that hands-on with technology. They want to be able to use something and just have it work. And that's kind of what AutoTrack does. Um, now, as I move around, again, you can see it's just going to follow me from point to point. Um, I'm not having to worry about anything. My hands can be free. I can be working. Um, on numerous things. The nice thing also with AutoTrack is I can have students or other presenters come up at the same time and uh, be interactive along with me and the camera's still constantly always going to be on me. Now many people might ask what happens if I have a student come up and for example over here I've got my whiteboard and I need the camera then on them. Well, what happens is we have uh, the technology developed so that if I'm the student and I come over here to the whiteboard, I actually have a mat here at my whiteboard that as soon as that mat gets triggered, 
it's no longer, as you can see as I walk on here, it's no longer uh, going to go from off the mat at all. So this mat is what's pulling the trigger right now. And as you can see, there's a white screen behind me. And this is our squiggle. Um, so I'll just give you a little demonstration with the squiggle real quick. Um, the squiggle is using ultrasonic technology to be able to communicate um, between the left hand side of the board here and my marker pen. So I just have standard bullet, bullet tip markers inside a sleeve and as I write on the whiteboard in real time you are seeing on the far end what I've written. Now I can go ahead and I can erase that or say I had a large problem up here or something that was uh, general for note taking, I can go ahead and save my content by pressing a button over here on the left hand side that looks like a USB and it will actually save my content up here onto a USB stick as a JPEG file in numerical order. So I can go ahead, save my content, it'll save, and then I can go ahead and erase and write something new. Now I can erase either with a standard eraser, and as you can see, it didn't come off, but it's off my board. And then I can go ahead and press my erase button, or it ships with an electronic eraser that um, will actually erase. It. You'll see it erasing in real time. I'll show you real quickly here. You can see. And then, of course, I can hit my erase button to erase the rest of it. Uh, with the squiggle, uh, it's kind of an innovative product because it's not an, inter an interactive whiteboard at all. Um, most of us are familiar with uh, the interactive solutions out there like, um, uh, for example, uh, smart boards and Mimeo, um, those type of devices. Those all require um, a designated computer, software, and more of that uh, learning process to be able to utilize those boards. Um, with Vadio Squiggle, it's actually a standard whiteboard. So right behind me, it's just a standard Claridge porcelain on steel whiteboard. And um, embedded in the actual whiteboard frame right here is the actual electronics from it. It's just this piece, and we have a single strand of Cat5 running back to our head end, breaking off our power, and our choice of DVI component and composite video. Um, there's no interactive features of the whiteboard. It's basically just a way to get your content across um, as a video output. So it can go directly into any type of switcher. It can go directly into a codec as one of your outputs. Um, whatever you want to do. But the nice thing is, like I said, there's no dedicated uh, PC or Mac needed for it. And also the fact that you, there's no software. It's just you write and it's going to come across on the far end. Um, the, the largest um, opportunities that I've seen with it come across so far um, was when we first debuted Squiggle over a year ago. Um, Temple University, which is uh, in my territory, uh, they really, really kind of grabbed onto it because they have a lot of professors that, say, have been teaching for 30, 40 years, and they don't really like to move ahead with technology. They don't want to learn how to use a smart board or those type of features that come with an interactive whiteboard. They just like it easy, clean, nice, um, so this way, there's nothing that they have to do. They can just write on it with the standard bullet tip whiteboard marker and not have to worry about, you know, using software or a computer or anything like that. So um, they really jumped on to that, uh, like I said, in just because of the ease of use with it. Now from Vadio, it comes in two sizes. It comes shipped as a 4x6 whiteboard or a 4x8. Or, for those of you that have existing whiteboards, we now sell the squiggle interface separately so you can attach it to your existing whiteboard either by attaching it onto the wall 
or if it's a porcelain on steel whiteboard, on the back side of the interface, you can actually just magnetic use magnetic tape and it'll stick to your whiteboard. So that is um, a little bit of information about squiggle. Now, as you could see, when I stepped up here, um, it went white and then it gave me in a little PIP window there at the top. Um, that's being controlled by our auto presenter, our switcher uh, here in the room that has all of our um, different inputs going through it. Now, next to my whiteboard here on the wall, you can see a little black box called a presenter pod. Um, the presenter pod right here actually can also help me switch as the instructor or presenter what content is coming across. So if I'm standing here at my whiteboard and I've done some things on there, but I want to make reference back to my PowerPoint slide, I can do that by hitting the presenter pod because I have that uh, configured, one of the two buttons on there configured as my PC. So now I just switched over to there. I, after I've done, been done referencing my PowerPoint or whatever's on my PC, I can switch back and it will go back to my whiteboard. Now I'm going to step off the mat. It's going to go back into full tracking mode. And as I walk across the room here, um, we have another station set up over here as a podium. Now on the podium you can see, again, I have a mat situated here. And generally what happens is when you get to a trigger point um, where you'd put a mat like a podium or lectern, uh, in the case of like house of worship, a uh, baptismal area, um, again, a whiteboard or a smart board, um, generally what happens is when you pull off a tracking, you go into kind of a, a preset close shot because typically you don't need to see all of me at this location. You generally want to see a closer shot of the speaker um, because I might be holding something in my hands or presenting. Um, so that's why you've seen it kind of pull off and zoom in on me at this location. Now, again, I have a presenter pod here at this location, as you can see, and I just switched to my document camera that I actually have uh, in the ceiling above me. So I can go ahead, right now I'm zooming in on my document camera. That uh, grayish white thing that you see there is actually one of our cameras, our HD20 camera, and you can see close in over here the presenter pod. So that's what the presenter pod looks like. Um, this one that's lit up is my document camera and I have it labeled that. And my other one over here is my PC. So if I hit that and switch, it'll go to my PowerPoint presentation and again a PIP window of me. Now I can go back to my document camera. It's going to pull back out and go to that. And again, um, as you can see, it's lit up and configured the middle button will allow PIP to release from there. So if you just want a full picture, document camera picture, or full uh, PC picture, or whatever you have as one of your assigned inputs on here, um, you can go ahead and press that button and release PIP from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and release my document camera, and again, it comes back to me in that preset shot that has already been set up. And I can, as the instructor or presenter, I can step off my mat here and go ahead and start pacing again. So I can, like I said, I can be interactive with the room. Um, this is kind of how we have our room set up. You can actually have the presenter even zoomed out even farther. So in instances of like a auditorium application, uh, that sort of thing that you would get more of a full body shot of a presenter. Um, this room is uh, about, um, say about 30 by 30 to give you an idea. And um, so that's kind of the distance that you're seeing right now is, is the auto track um, back about 30 feet. 